Well, hello, friends and followers, and amateur radio affectionados. Here's a tale of woe. This is the really cheap T4XB I bought off of eBay, which was missing a lot of tubes, and I started working on this thing, so I fired it up on the uh, power supply down here. Where's the power supply? There it is. It's on dark. And once I fired it up, it sort of worked for five seconds, and then it started to uh, smoke and burn, and there's a 15K resistor right here that was burning up, and when I measured voltage on it, I would get about 250 on this side, and this side was getting like, like one volt or something, and I thought, well, that's not going to work. No wonder it burned up. So I put the resistor way out here just because it was wired inside here, and it really sort of smoked up the switch in there. So I thought, well, it's, if it burns up again, we'll keep it out of there. Anyway, so the guy or gal or whoever was fixing this radio, it's a real mystery. They had, this is supposed to be 680 ohms right here between the B plus here and going into the little can. The can is out because I thought the can was shorted. So I've been, uh, I took it out anyway. And I was trying to take this thing apart, but I didn't get it apart. And I guess it's good because it's calibrated and I could goof it up. So, yeah, don't want to take it apart. So, it turns out the can is not shorted. Life is good. I couldn't get it apart anyway to fix it, and it doesn't need fixed. So, of all weird things then, they put in this weird yellow wire, which is in all these TX4Bs and... A's and all that, or T4X's that goes from the pin on the, uh, how does this go? It goes from this pin here to, um, to B plus. And there's a B plus, the 680's and it goes out to the finals via this, uh, I'm looking through, okay, through this connection here, and it goes back to the trimmers and coils through here, the trimmers mostly. So anyway, I'm trying to find a short here, and I could saw that when I wiggled this wire, it would, it would kind of short. I think the short then, and I can't even get the camera in here to see it, is where this yellow wire is bottoming out against against this thing which is on the bottom of the switch and so I simply have moved the wire off that area. I can't get the, the yellow jacket off it and I guess I won't worry about that yellow jacket. I'm just gonna hopefully it'll stay in midair and it'll it'll last the rest of the life of the radio or whatever. So that's how I finally found this short and how would that wire even come apart? I don't know. Maybe RF burned it up. Maybe corrosion. But these radios are so weird when you get them. It's like they have so many problems. So the guy put in some huge 68 ohm resistor here trying to force current into it. And of course that didn't work. He didn't find the short. So I'm trying to find that resistor where it went. Here it is. So yeah, he had this, he had this huge resistor in here, which was a uh, an old junk. 68 ohm resistor. It still works, but that's the wrong value. It takes 680. Maybe he wanted a 680 and he grabbed a 68 ohm. Anyway, that was all wrong and that was overloading this circuit here and burning up this resistor. So it was a big mess. So anyway, I'll see if I can get this thing back together. Put that little can back in there and I didn't really mark which way it goes in. I don't think it matters which way it goes in, but I didn't mark it. It shouldn't matter. It's a, uh, a coil. <laughs> I just have to get it in right. So I'm just going to line it up where that insignia is with the other ones and call it a day. All right. And I was trying to pull it out of here, but it's not going to come out. And I guess I shouldn't try. So I'm going to simply push these back in that hold it together and put it back in the radio, solder it. Have a good day. So. That's the story at Morning Glory. Okay, well, thanks for watching. And again, this is Jake T4XB Surgery. Um, 
this one is uh, looks nice in the front. Kind of corroded here and there, but yeah, it's not a bad radio. It's just weird how these get moisture in them and troubles happen. Anyway, there's the uh, 15K resistor I put in there to fix it. And that was caused by uh, a resistor in here burning it up. So when you put in a 60, 68 ohm, whoa, look at that, it's cracked. I didn't see that. <laughs> so I think this guy was really trying hard to get this radio going, wasn't he? Anyway, where does where's that go? It's a File 13 S-CAN, so. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.